We're at the Girding Theater in the Pearl District on Northwest 11th and Davis. A lot of people think that this was the actual armory, but it's not true. This was the annex. The armory was next door. That was torn down in 1968. So glad you're with us. I'm Ken Ackerman. This is Comcast Newsmakers. You know, Portland always shows up in publications as one of the most bike friendly cities in the country. But here's something that's interesting. Only 10% of the people that ride actually feel comfortable on two wheels. We're going to find out why. Please welcome Allison Hill Graves, Executive Director of the Community Cycling Center. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much. Why do you think that is that uh, such a, a low amount or a few amount of people actually feel comfortable? Um, I think it's because it's, it's a relatively uh, young thing for people to do. I mean, a lot of people have been riding bikes their whole lives, but when it comes to using bicycles for everyday transportation or everyday use, um, that's kind of a newish thing to do in this day and age. I think there's some statistic where in the 60s, 37% or something like that of kids walked or biked to school. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, it's a, it's a much lower number. It's more like 9%. So things have really changed over the years as we become more kind of car friendly. Um, it's been less friendly for bicycles and pedestrians. And so um, there are those early adopters almost. Um, and, and there are a lot of people, about 60% uh, in the city, uh, according to the, the city of Portland, mm -hmm. people who'd be interested in riding bicycles, but they have different concerns. What's and holding so, them back? Well, there, I think there's a lot of different things. Uh, for some people, it's a, it's a simple challenge, and for others, it's much more complex. We did some investigation with some of our community partners to find out more about that, and we heard three basic themes, mm -hmm. cost, safety, and riding. And the cost is the cost of purchasing a bicycle or repairing a bike. Mm -hmm. and, and I say that because a lot of the people that we work with at the Community Cycling Center are lower income or low income people, um, immigrant families. And so any additional cost is significant. Um, but any day people, especially in this environment, this economic environment, cost of anything is going to be a challenge. Uh, around uh, safety, it's you know concerns about cars on the road, concerns about having a safe place to store your bicycle. Um, and then with riding, it's not necessarily knowing other people to ride with or how to get one place to a next place mm -hmm. uh, safely, like not having access to a map even. Right. So in small things like that are bigger things. And I, I want to mention, this is where the Community Cycling Center comes in. Mm -hmm. You make bikes affordable. You, mm -hmm. you actually give bikes away. Yeah. You find partners for people. Tell us about the Community Cycling Center. Yeah, great. So the Community Cycling Center has been around since 1994. And over the years, we've kind of evolved into what I call a hybrid nonprofit organization we operate a bike shop on Alberta Street and it's a really great neighborhood bike shop we sell used bicycles and we fix bikes up and we teach classes to maintain your bike we have a great summer camp and then with community partners we do almost direct service we help individuals who are on low incomes to earn a bicycle we have after-school programs for kids we help really young kids get their first bicycle or for adults you know, who are in workforce programs they can earn a bike so that they can get to work. So a really comprehensive look at how to create access to bikes. How do you get your bikes? Are they donated? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, about 2,000 people every year donate their bikes that they are no longer using to us. And then we help the, the, to redistribute them back into the community. For bikes that, that, are unable, that we're unable to recycle or refurbish, um, or to refurbish or to reuse, we'll recycle those. And we recycle about 20 tons of metal a year that way. Hmm. Um, the city of Portland, what would make this even better as a cycling city in your mind? Well, so the city uh, and organizations like the Bicycle Transportation Alliance and other groups are really looking to make the, the streets safer, um, uh, sharing the road with cars and bikes and, and, and people walking. Um, but what we do is we try to educate people uh, and connect people around the bikes because, you know, we, um, while the bicycle for us is our tool, we call it the tool for empowerment and a vehicle for change, it's about the bicycle, but really for us it's about building a healthy community so people have a choice for how to get around and a healthy way to get around and a way to connect with their family mm -hmm. or friends in moving throughout the city to school or to work or to the grocery store, just to tool around the neighborhood if that's what they want to do. Allison, we have your website, communitycyclingcenter.org. People get all the information there. That sounds great. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you as well for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.